All right, I'm just going to take some piano wire here and cut it to length here and cut it to length here. Man, this stuff's tough. Oh, those those are ruined. Nice. Let's talk about these flight stands. They're not a bad height, but I don't like them. They take up a lot of the model. They they're more intrusive than they really need to be. They could be a lot shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all of them. First things first, I'm gonna need something to pin into. Sticking with my Urban Rebel theme bases, I grab some of this old terrain that I'm gonna cut up and use as bits on the base. It will also give me a little bit more height, so I'll have less of an actual flight stand. So I'm gonna go through each one of these and kind of plan where their feet is gonna meet up with the piece of rubble to go into the base. Now the flight stands aren't a bad height and I plan on using some battle foam to store these, so I want them to be the same height as the flight stands. So these are the easy to build inceptors. I like the gun shields better on the easy to build ones, but that also means I have a little bit more meat to drill into down here at the foot pedal, spring plate, whatever it is at the bottom. And once the foot's drilled, I'm trying to figure out exactly where on the base I want him so I know where to drill in this little piece here. The piece of rebel on this base is actually drilled at a slight angle. That means I'm going to have to drill it straight in so I get more meat to really glue the piece into. But then I'm actually going to have to bend the pin so he stands straight. And once that's done, I need to figure out how high I want him. So I'm going to measure how high I want him and kind of double how long the drill is because this went basically all the way. Do a little bit of math and go ahead and clip this to length. All right, let's go ahead and stop here and thank the sacrificial lamb for the opener. I really like piano wire for its strength, but that means you need a specific tool to cut it with. These are specific tools to cut piano wire. You're gonna need these if you wanna actually cut piano wire. The reason I use piano wire is because it's much more rigid so I can use a much thinner piece of wire and still get the same effect. So I get into gluing these, I'm going to go ahead and check, make sure the height looks okay, make sure the angle looks okay, make sure I know where it needs to go, because once you get the super glue on there, you only have a few seconds before it really starts setting up, and then your model's stuck there forever. Now the one that has the pin that needs to be bent, I'm going to need to figure out where he needs to go, and I'm going to need to bend it kind of outside of the pieces. The wire is really rigid, and if you try to bend it inside the plastic, it will absolutely break out one of the sides. That's another reason why I use the piano wire, because it's not just going to bend while you're playing with the model. It'll actually hold its shape and spring back a bit. And once I have all of these glued in place and I'm all happy, I got to this point. Now, they're not terrible, but I mean, it'd be nice if they didn't knock over so easy. So, being one to always solve problems that don't exist, I went looking for some Pinewood Derby car weights, and I found these. Now, my first thought was, tungsten isn't lead heavier than tungsten so i went and did some research and learned that i have been living a lie that lead actually isn't even on the top 10 of the densest metals tungsten is actually about 1.7 times the density of lead so i bought a pack of these tungsten chips and now i'm going to go ahead and glue them on to the bottom of the bases I have this all in my third hand here so I can hold them all upside down and I've actually kind of marked out where I want the weights on each one of these. I'm going to put most of the weights on the opposite side of the biggest overhang that I have on these models and that way they'll actually stand up a little bit better. And here we go. All of them have the tungsten chips where I want them. Now I'm actually just going to take super glue and pour it right on top of these and uh, spray it with some accelerant and call it a day. So the big question is, did that do anything? The left here is before tungsten chips, and the right is after. I use my left hand for both of these tests to keep it super scientific, but I think it shows that it actually does something. And here they are, all done. I think these look a lot better than having those big, clear flight stands. I think that even though they're clear, the reflection of light just makes them stand out too much. And if you put matte varnish on them, they just turn white. So this is what I ended up with. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I certainly did in this process of making these. Please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.